Number 24. In this figure here, a horizontal force FA of magnitude 20 newtons is applied to a 3 kg psychology book as, as the book slides a distance d equals to 0.5 meters up a frictionless ramp at angle 30 degrees. Letter A. During the displacement, what is the net work done on the book by FA? The gravitational force on the book and the normal force on the book. Letter B. If the book has zero kinetic energy at the start of the displacement, what is its speed at the end of the displacement? Okay, so what the problem wants us to do is to calculate the net work. So the net work would be equal to the work done by FA plus the work done by the gra gravitational force plus the work done by the normal force. And the first thing that you have to notice, let's just draw the normal force over here. So we have to notice that the normal force, it is perpendicular to the movement. So the movement goes like this. And the normal force is perpendicular to the movement. And remember that the work can be calculated by the dot product between the force and the displacement. So if the force and the displacement are perpendicular, the dot product would, would give us zero. So the work done by the normal force is zero. Okay, so that's the first thing that you have to notice. The work done by the normal force is zero. So we have to calculate the work done by, by FA and then the work done by the gravitational force. For FA, you just have to notice that this angle over here is also theta, right? It's 30 degrees as well. So when we are going to do this dot product over here, what we're going to do is trying to find this component over here. Not this, this component over here, right? We're trying to find this component over here. And this component over here, let's call it F a x f a x is equal to f a times the cosine of the angle so that's the force that we are going to use okay so what we are doing we're doing the dot product without without using vectors that's what we are doing here so the work done by f a is equal to f a times the cosine of the angle times the distance d. So this would be equal to 20 times the cosine of 30 degrees times uh, 0.5. And this gives us, let's see, this gives us roughly, well, roughly 8.66 joules. So, that's, that's the, the, the work done by FA. So now we have to calculate the work done by the gravitational force. And I can write it over here, I guess. Now let me make another drawing because it would be harder to see that way. Okay, so let's suppose that this is our box over here, our book, and we have the gravitational force over here and if you're following my resolutions you already know that this angle is equal to this angle over here so if you want to calculate the work done by the gravitational force and the displacement is like this we have to find the component of FG that is parallel to D and we can decompose FG into two different components. So one of them would be this one. So let's call it FY. And the other one would be this one, FX. And of course, FX, FX is parallel to the displacement D. So we need to find FX. And using a little bit of trigonometry, you could find that FX is equal to FG times the sine of the angle, right? So the work done by the gravitational force would be equal 
to fg sine of the angle times d just don't forget to add a, a negative sign over here because fx points downwards and d points in the other direction so when you do the dot product this minus sign will appear over here so this would be equal to minus mg sine of the angle times d so let's just replace here the letter by the numbers this is going to be minus 3 times 9.8 sorry 3 because it's the mass of the book times 9.8 times the sine of 30 which is 1 half times 0 0.5 and this will give us roughly 7.35 joules so now for a letter A, we just have to make the sum of this value and this value over here. Sorry, I forgot the negative sign over here. Don't forget to add the negative sign. So when you sum both forces, you would find 1.31 joules. So that's the answer of letter A. This is the NEF work done on the book. Yes, the answer of letter A. For letter B, if the book has zero kinetic energy at the start of the displacement, what is the speed of the end of displacement? So this work goes to the kinetic energy. That's what we know. This work goes straight to increasing the speed of the book. And we know that the kinetic energy is equal to mv squared over 2. So the speed of the book is equal to 2 times the kinetic energy over m square root of everything so this is equal to the square root of 2 times 1.31 which is this value over here divided by 3 and this gives us let's see 0 0.935 meters per second and that's the answer of this problem